All right, guys, we are back with another exercise index video. Today, I want to do a front delt exercise. Now, most people, when they do their front delts, they do something like this, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I've done tons of this stuff. But I want to show you something that gives you a little bit more of a stretch on your delts. So if you lay back on an incline bench, it's at a moderate kind of angle. Now look at the stretch my front delts are in. So we're gonna pull it up about three quarters of the way, come back down, right here. The range of motion I like is from here to here. You gotta go a little bit lighter on this. So it's just a little different range of motion. If you're here, you're more flexed on the kind of the contracted part of the movement, whereas this variation will give you a little bit more work in the stretch position. Now, a lot of people don't believe in working anterior delts directly because of the work they get from bench pressing and incline bench pressing. I actually like to work anterior delts on their own too. Um, I don't prioritize them. I would still do my rear delts first and then my side delts second. But I do like to do um, one movement for front delts in addition to the heavy chest uh, work. And this is something I would do like this. Um, again, it's a stretch movement, so make sure there's a lot of blood in there. I wouldn't do these first, I would do them last. And this is not an exercise you wanna go heavy and sling a bunch of heavy weight on. You can do that standing and you can probably get away with it, but you won't get away with it on these or you'll hurt yourself. So be smart. Use a little lighter weight on these. I like to do a little higher reps on these. Three sets of maybe around 15 reps toward the end of my shoulder workout would be typical of what I would do. So give these a shot. Let me know what you think, comment below. Um, the only other thing I would say is my hand position is staying right here the whole time. So I'm not really doing any twisting of any kind. My hands are just staying kind of in this pronated position you could you could do one one more thing you could bring them together a little to the top <laughs> if you do that you will get a little bit of an extra contraction in your front delt so tinker around with that let us know what you think comment below